Good morning students of JBM Global School Noida. I'm your Snooker and chess instructor Madhuras Thiyagi. So children, would you like to learn a new game altogether? Well, then this game is called chess and I will be teaching you step by step in a very simple way. This game originated in India and we, we even have a world champion. His name is Mr. Vishwanathan Anand. So you can learn this game to be a world champion or you can play it as a hobby. In either case, you will develop a very sharp mind because the strategies and the tactics required in this game will develop your memory power, your analytical skills and your troubleshooting abilities. So now, let's get to this game. This board, chess board, you can buy it from online or from a gift shop near your house online or try to buy a tournament size chess set because that is bigger in size 17 inches and 70 by 17 inches and instead of these black squares you'll be having green squares there are 32 squares, dark color squares, and 32 light squares. Total number of squares are 64. This is the correct way to place your chessboard. The right hand side, the corner, it should be a white square. Similarly, from your side, suppose if you're sitting on that side, this right hand side corner should be white colored. On your left hand side, when you buy the chess board, chess set, you will find A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H written and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 written. Well, they denote A, these columns are called files. So, file A, file B, file C, D, E, F, G, and file H. Similarly, these rows are called ranks rank 1, rank 2, rank 3, rank 4, 5, 6, 7 and rank 8 the last rank this particular square has a number for example this is A and B file B and rank 1, 2, 3 3 so this square has a number B3 this will help you in writing the notation later on. Now let me tell you how the pieces are placed on this chessboard. You will find pieces like this, they are called pawns. Keep them on the second rank. They are 8 in number. Similarly you have 8 black pawns. They have a very short height. Keep them on the seventh rank. After this, take two roofs and place them on the either corner. Similarly, take two black roofs and place them on the either corner. Take two knights, place them adjacent to the rooks. Similarly, black knights. Place them on either side of the rooks. Two bishops adjacent to knights. Two black bishops adjacent to knights. And white queen or white queen on the white corner. And a black or and a white king adjacent to the queen. Similarly, a black queen on the black corner and the king adjacent to this queen. So now that all the pieces are placed on this chessboard, so in my lesson number two next week, I'll be telling you exactly how each of these pieces move and how this game is played. So until then, bye bye and take care.